good day, YouTube, and welcome to another Tits Beer Bong 420 Beer Review. Um, we're going to be doing a beer review today where the hops in it are Southern Cross, Motuka, and Nielsen Suvian. The malt being used is Gladfield Pale, Munich, Crystal, and Caramel Malt. It says that it uses a twelve a twenty a twelve seventy two all American ale yeast, seventy IBUs. I don't know what SRM stands for, but seven and then in brackets golden. And it's won um, a silver medal award before, back in two thousand and eleven. And what we have to review today, folks, is a New Zealand beer. And uh, I'm not, I've had stuff from New Zealand before. I can think of two things right now. And I kind of forget how the one was. It was a Scotch Porter, or a Scotch Ale, sorry. But the, but a Porter I had from New Zealand was effing amazing. But what we're reviewing here today, folks, is from the Eight Weird Brewing Company. But even though this is the eight weird brewing company, what was it? It's apparently brewed at. It, this actually might be brewed at the Renaissance Brewery, and that's the people I've had their porter and scotch ale from. But this is hop weird. It's a New Zealand India Pale Ale. Um, bottled and brewed by Eight Weird Brewing Company in Marlborough, New Zealand. 7.3% alcohol, 500 milliliters strong beer. Production date, December 11th of 2012. Huh. And we get it as like a spring release here type thing. <clears throat> or at least for a short period of time in spring, we can have Hop Weird IPA. So we're pretty sure Hop Weird is the first bottled New World India Pale Ale made with New Zealand grown pale ale malt and 100% unique New Zealand hops. We bet you'll find nothing else like it on the shelves. Although there's plenty of malty sweetness, this beer is all about the hops. But unlike an American India Pale Ale, which may, which will mainly challenge you with grapefruit and pine-like flavors and aromas, the kiwi hops used in Hop Weird produce something more like a tropical punch bowl. Passion fruit, limes, oranges, and sa Savagon Balnick grapes, to name but a few. A local Marlboro winemaker even sold it, sold it, wait, oh, said it smelled like gooseberries. Gooseberries? When did you last actually smell a gooseberry? Well, if you're asking me, Hop Weird, probably not in a bunch of years when I last had that uh, gooseberry beer that came in that uh, historical Ales of Scotland set. But it could have had gooseberry smell since. Decide for yourself or just enjoy it with further complication. Cheers. And then it's just saying that the Eight Weird Brewing is inspired by the legendary Kiwi Can Do mentality and fellow craft brewers who have dared to challenge the masses and show us all that beer is no longer just beer. Crafted by a Danish brewer who found permanent ground in Marlborough, New Zealand. Ex Expect unique brews. Expect inguitine flavor. And let's review Hop Weird. Or Hop Wire. We have Hop Weird IPA. What was it again, folks? 7.3%. Where's the glass I'm going to be using? Did I not remember to grab one of it? Yeah, and not your um, American IPA, not at all. Oh, that's not forest smelling, that's fruit salad or something. Cheers. Oh, let's slow the pour down a bit. Now I'm going to have a massive head. Um. Doesn't seem to look all too bad. It's carbonated. It looks like a nice head. Some bubbles in the top, but it's like not big bubbles, so 
Well, I detect the head will stay around a while. Let me just get the bottle put on here. You guys can look at the bottle while I smell it. Or the label anyways. Wow, folks. Wow, I'm saying wow for an IPA. Fuck. Oh my god, yeah. Kiwi, kiwi, passion fruit, stuff like that. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. It smells like, like, it's got like a candy fruit smell. Holy fuck, it smells good. Kiwi, passion fruit, just fucking fantastic smell. Smell 10 out of 10, fuck yeah. Motherfuckers, cheers. Holy shit. Mmm. 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 Ah, holy shit, that's interesting. Fuck, this is crazy shit. Ah, holy damn it. The smell, the smell just rules. As I'm drinking it in, I'm getting the bitter, earthy hops, and it's looking like it's going to be one of those really bitter and rough, earthy, bittery hops tasting IPAs. Um, goes down a little bit like that, but in the aftertaste, holy dude, it's like fruit salad city, but in this gummy, juicy, just really delicious way of like kiwi and passion fruit mainly, especially kiwi, and just really a juicy, awesome, badass taste. And it's got 7.3% alcohol. I could, I could whip through this, stand up and be, uh, I'm cutting a buzz, right? <laughs> Lacing on the glass, you son of a bitch, this is good. New Zealand's got kick-ass fucking beers, folks. If you ever get the chance, try it. I love their fucking Renaissance Porter. Forget how the Renaissance Scotch Ale was. And this 8 Weird Brewery Hop Weird IP from New Zealand. Um, It is a little heavy, not super heavy. It has a little bit of a burn going in my throat now. And belly. Um, definitely has some of the earthiness and bitterness, but so juicy on kiwi and passion fruit, and just. Mmm. Uh, well, now that it's obviously getting warmer, the more it's sitting out, it's getting a little bit rougher. If it was still that amazing taste at the beginning this would have been probably a perfect score and the best i fucking pa ever for me but i'll admit now i can say it's it's a little bit of burn i'm getting from it now and it's earthy bitterness that's a little bit rough knocks that down a bit but it's fruity juiciness is the fucking shit um just because of how some of it's feeling now. It almost got a perfect score, but this is going to get an 8.5. This fucking kicks ass for an IPA. Thanks, folks. Peace.